This is the Viper Tech Mini Mantis. Out the front, double edged blade, five inches overall, 1.85 blade length, roughly three inch handle size, pretty stable clip, belt clip, boot clip, whatever. The spring inside has a great tension too. You can feel the power behind that spring just, just flipping it. Seems to be like a cast style body with a rubberized paint coating. Real comfortable in the hand, got some good grip to it. I did notice there were some blemishes out of the box. Little ding in the paint here. Could be touched up probably with a just a black Sharpie or some black paint, but I wanted to leave it to show how it came. Um, out of the box, the blade, 440 stainless steel. It is sharp, but not, it, it's sharp, but it's not super, you feel some drag on that. And to point out that side and this side, skipped on the very fine tuned sharp thing on this side. I have not sharpened it, I haven't cut much to dull it. Um, just test it on paper, and that's about it. Uh, for the price, it sells for $22. For that price, for what it is, lightweight, really easy to stow away somewhere for an emergency knife. Fun to play with. For $22, definitely worth it. Uh, that is the Mini Mantis. Go. Viper Tech. VF1 in black comes in this nice box and inside this so so okay nylon case snap buckle uh, belt adjustable velcro belt loop on the back fits very loose in there but here's the knife Viper Tech has the uh, the glass smashing nub with a hole for a lanyard as well. Has a belt clip which has a really good tension to it. But what I don't like about the belt clip is when you are holding it, it gives you a hot spot right there. You feel that pinching when you when you grasp on that tight you can feel that right there um, I believe if you unscrew this you could pop it off if you didn't want the belt clip on it but or you could even probably bend that down a little bit to fix that hot spot but right out of the box I noticed that it does have a hot spot also feeling the grooves on this I think over time it might loosen up a little but because it's new it's tight just doing it once or twice not a big deal after playing with it for about five minutes you feel that on your thumb you feel them grooves start burning in um, you can hear it has a really decent spring to it though very cool this is it comes in different blade styles this is the drop point I really like this uh, this style blade this is a 440 stainless steel blade Handle is a zinc alloy with a black paint. It's kind of heavy. The whole thing weighs six ounces, I believe. It actually feels like a little more than that, but the specs say six ounces, so that's all I'm gonna say. Total length, seven and three quarter inches, so it is a good size knife. Blade length is three and a quarter, and it's a 0.11 blade thickness with a three quarter inch width blade overall if you get past a hot spot for an emergency tactical knife not too bad has some some good spring to it um, blade sharpness out of the box pretty good pretty good um, it could use a little stropping a little touching up but I think I could get that razor sharp Got some good spots right there. That's nice. Um, strength of the spring. 
is pretty decent.